Today I'm doing the full setup for teaching music online through Streamlabs OBS. I'm going to get you set up to make everything look like what you see here, except even better. First off, if this is helpful to you, comment, like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. It really helps out the channel. Okay, let's get started. First things first, if you haven't already downloaded Streamlabs OBS, uh, go to streamlabs.com and download that. I'm working on a Mac and I know a lot of music educators also work on Mac, so that's what we're gonna be doing. So make sure you click the Mac button there. And I wanna say also that if you already have OBS proper and you like using it, this will also work for you. We're not gonna be doing really anything in this video outside of what is possible in both OBS and Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS is new to Mac as of now, and it's a little bit more user-friendly and also allows you to start streaming on Twitch easily. By the way, follow me on Twitch. Also, if you have been using OBS, you can actually import your settings directly into Streamlabs. Okay, so let's just get a basic rundown. What you see here is my current setup that I use to teach piano lessons, kind of. I'm gonna do this tutorial as if we're setting up with a piano. If you're a different instrumentalist and you're not teaching with the piano all the time, or at all, um, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. But I'm gonna use piano because that's what I end up teaching most of the time. Okay, so this is the basic layout. What we're gonna look at are three things today. We're gonna look at the scenes over here, we're gonna look at the sources, and then we're gonna look at the mixer. So first things first, let's just get a blank canvas. Uh, I'm gonna go over to scene and, and make a new scene. I'm just gonna title this new scene. As music educators, you're probably teaching a bunch of different things, either private lessons here, or maybe at the university uh, college class, you might be pre-recording lectures. So there might be different scenarios that you need for different sorts of teaching. I think of the scenes as what kind of teaching am I doing, right? So I'm gonna set it up for a private lesson first, a private piano lesson, show you how to do that. So new scene is where we're at. You go in there, hit the plus button like we already did. Then you have in the sources tab, all your tech goes in there, your webcam, your mic, your display capture, everything like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and set it up. First things first is of course you want a webcam. So uh, you want people to be able to see you. So we're gonna go in there and hit the plus button and we're gonna go over to, on the left side, we're gonna go over to video capture device. Click that, hit add source, and then see I already have a bunch here. Um, right now that's my webcam, hello. So if you're new to this and you're just using this for the first time, you're gonna have to go down here and click um, add new source, and then you can name that. We'll just name that webcam with lot many M's so I remember to delete it add source and then it'll take you here you select an option and then anything that's already plugged in you should see your webcam here so i have my built-in cam i have a couple different webcams plugged in so we're just going to use this one which is this one and then you hit done and then there it is in the scene and you can of course drag this around and do whatever you need to do with it i'm just going to put it in the right corner right here and i'm of course recording this camera separately than what this is, but for clarity of the video, I'm just gonna move myself now. And that way we're good to go. Okay, let's add a microphone so people can hear us. Let's go in here under sources, press uh, the plus button, audio input capture right here. Now again, I already have things in there to add a new source. You have to click this button and then it'll say audio input capture. You can name anything you want. Um, I'll name mine mic tutorial. I'm doing a tutorial. Hit add, then default, and then it will see everything that your computer recognizes. So it could, you could use the built-in microphone, or you could use the webcam microphones, which I don't necessarily recommend. Um, and of course, that you see my digital piano and some other things, right? So uh, I could just use the built-in microphone. I strongly suggest, if you're gonna be teaching online, to get a better microphone than the built-in one, if you have the ability to do that. I strongly recommend it. It's a big quality increase, and it really does help. Okay, so when the mic's in there, you see on the right, the, the mixer, right? You go over here and see on the right side, the mixer. And right there, there's the mic I just added. It's picking it up. Okay, and see here, my piano is literally right next to my desk where my whole workstation is. I like to set it up like that. It makes it easy for me. Um, so you have to figure out what works for you. On a mic stand, I have a webcam attached to it with this right there. It's an adapter to put a webcam here webcam, see, it fits right here, and then it just screws right onto the mic stand. So then that is plugged in to my computer, and I go in here to add the source, and we go to video capture, because it's a video camera, and I go to new source, video capture device, we'll call this piano cam tutorial, because that's what we're doing. Add the source, 
and then I get to go into select option and I look for, I think it's this one. Yeah, there it is right there, I guess right. So then I, I just leave this in the highest setting. It's only 720, this particular camera. Hit done, and then there it is. So what we can do is we can actually crop this down. If you hold option on the keyboard, put the arrow over these one of these boxes, then you can actually just crop it like that. Boom, like that, crop it down, and you can kind of cut out as much as you want if you want to show the, the stand there. And I crop it in to the side as well. Kind of make it nice and tight like that and then i slide it down now you can put it wherever you want but i'm just going to do show you what i'm doing to make it a little bit bigger for the screen you just grab the corner and stretch it out now of course doing this is going to depreciate the quality of the image because you stretch it but for now it gets the job done it's it's good and let me just stretch it out a little bit more okay there we go um now what i like to do as well so people can hear the piano and it doesn't necessarily just come through the the built-in mic or the regular mic is you can if you have a MIDI input in, my, in your piano, which of course this one does, and I will link this exact piano um, in the description, you have to add piano sound. So the way we do that is in our sources, you go to plus sign, you go to audio input capture, add source, and then, again, I'll do this and I'll delete later, add the new source, and I just say piano sound tutorial. Add the source. You go into here, and if your digital piano is plugged in USB to MIDI, it should show up as digital piano. You hit done. And then over in your mixer area, you can see piano sound. There's the piano sounds coming through. And you can adjust the levels of how much the gain is uh, with here as well. Now, I like to sing along when I play a lot. Sometimes when you add sources, they can be a little out of sync with themselves. I'm gonna give you a quick fix on this. But if you have specific problems that you want to address, make sure to join my Discord and you can actually ask me directly for assistance on any problems you might be having. I've really been messing with this, so I've, I have all of the ins and outs uh, and ways to, to make sure that your, your audio is sunk up and good to go for your lessons. To check this, we just go to this little disc over here, open advanced audio settings, and right here you'll see all of your audio sources. Right now I have piano sound, and then my mic, and my built-in mic. If you're using an interface or something with your mic, an XLR, you might have to down mix the audio to make sure that you're not just gonna get sound in one ear, that's a thing to mess with. And this is where you can adjust the gain. I just make sure that all these are checked just for safety, and you can set your basic levels, and then you can mess around with the uh, offset, the syncing offset, so if there is uh, discrepancy this is where you would mess around with it and then see if it works so we're almost there we get the piano in I like to use the piano display because I find that especially with this and I know right now this is very overexposed you can see my hands are really white you can almost barely see the lines between the piano um, there is a trick with that with lighting but I think if I did that right now this video would be way too long so look back for that maybe I'll do another video let me know in the comments if you want me to do another video on on how to get the best lighting but regardless I like to have the notes displayed for students I think it's very helpful and very useful and people like that visual I use the Cordy app it's like 25 bucks um, but I think it's totally worth it so let's add that in because I really think the visual element is a, is a great thing for students Okay, so in order to do it, you'd have to download it first, and maybe I'll do another video on that. The Cordy app is open, and this, the, the piano roll is displayed, and I'm gonna just drag it over here. It's its own window. So in order to sort of see it on the, on the Streamlabs setup, I'm just gonna go to Add Source. Like I said, Display Capture, Add Source. Go down here, and we're gonna go to, we're gonna name it, let's name it Piano Roll Tutorial. Add Source. And right here, it's gonna, since I have two monitors plugged in, you're gonna have to check which display it's, mim, uh, it's mirroring. So I'm gonna, this is my, this is number one. I know that and see, we can see that here because it shows the monitor there. Uh, and then you go to crop and I like going to window and then you get to select option and you just have to scroll down to see which one it is. Piano roll, there it is. And there it is, nice and pretty. And we can, nice and bright as well. We can repurpose this or resize it to fit. And all I do is just, I just crop it exactly, you know, I just eyeball it. That's, that's what you have to do. And of course, remember, alt control or alt option on the keyboard, and then you can crop it down. You can crop it, oh, I can't crop it down like that. So maybe I make it a little bit bigger. A quick note about what you saw in the beginning with my borders, those are called overlays, and they're really popular on uh, for Twitch streamers. 
by the way follow me on twitch they're not necessary they kind of give a nice look i'm not going to go over that today because again this is going to get really long if you're interested in that let me know in the comments and i can direct you to some really nice overlays or you can design your own if you know how to use photoshop but that's definitely not necessary this still looks quite professional okay now that it looks good we can check and make sure that the cordy app is recognizing the the midi input it is. You do that through the Cordy app specifically, so that's a whole nother thing. Let me know if you want a tutorial on that, but I think it's so simple. You just have to make sure everything's plugged in. And the reason you don't have to do anything in Streamlabs with this is because you're just doing display capture. So it's just capturing what is on your screen. Okay, and now that the piano roll's in there, I can kind of, I would like to resize my camera a little bit. Here, let me go back to my corner. You can also crop the camera like you did before with alt option and kind of slide away and make it any sort of size, right? If you want, if it fits more vertically in your setup, you can do that, that's customizable. Easy stuff, okay, I'll come back. But now we have this blank space over here. One of the other things that comes with Cordy is the manuscript and I'm gonna slide that into the view here. And you can do a very similar display capture to have the notes appear in that way. And you can actually, if you use display capture, you put that in that same little box. Or you could use the same display capture and show the sheet music that you're working on, say a specific excerpt or the score. Let's set this up in there let's, so we can see what it looks like. Go back to sources, add, display capture again. Add source, add new source. We'll say manuscript, manuscript tutorial. Add source. It's gonna take you through the same thing. Make sure it's on the right display, right? You, now you can see my other display. This is it. Uh, and you hit, uh, and then you go to crop, to window, and then you select the option, find manuscript view, and there it is. And it'll actually crop it in. And we can resize it. And there it is. And you can see it's kind of hanging over the piano. If, if you, you know, if I kind of oversize it, if you don't like that, you go down to sources and you find the manuscript and just drag, click and drag it down underneath things and then it will get backgrounded and you can see it's kind of hanging over so I would actually kind of adjust that if I could. So however things appear in the sources, on the top is the visual foreground and on the bottom is the background. And that's gonna be really important as you start adding a bunch of different sources in there because as you can see already just from this very basic setup that we already have a bunch in there. One other thing too is if this looks really blurry, you might wanna try resizing this, making it smaller or bigger and then uh, messing around with the size in here right now it does look a little blurry so I'd probably have to mess with it but again that's customizable that's up to you and that's how you have to do it okay and this looks pretty good I think we're ready to start teaching I'm here cameras here well cameras here but it would be there and we're good to go so now you're ready to import as a virtual camera into zoom and this would be displayed in your video call if you need to learn how to do that I did a video last week on that so check that I will link that at the end of this video I know some of us also pre-record our lectures or our presentations or whatever all you have to do is check out this button right here it says record hit record and then it's gonna record everything that is shown through Streamlabs that's also a great way to test your microphone delay also doing test recordings things like that make sure that you go under here this is the settings tab um, settings to output to recording and then right here, recording path is where it will save the movies. There's nothing worse than recording and then not knowing where they went. So that's, that's the last little bit that I'll, I'll say. All right, and that's my full Streamlabs OBS setup tutorial. Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments. If you want more detailed help, join my Discord and I can help you with specific things. If you teach a different instrument or you have a different setup in mind, let me know in the comments or on the Discord what you're doing and if you have any questions. And when you do build your setup, share it with me. I would love to see what it looks like and we can kind of go back and forth and see how best to benefit our students. As always, if this video was helpful, please do consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. And with that, I'll leave you to it. Good luck. See you next time.